Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and this is your place for professional video production techniques. The subject of this reveal, use track mats for stunning visual styles. All right, track mats, you've seen them all the time. They are a very specific stylized look, so they have their place. A lot of times in fast moving stuff, or if you're Ang Lee, you can uh, do the Hulk with track mats. Let's go have a look. So in this clip here, I've got a singer and she's in the middle of the uh, frame and I wanna highlight her. And I wanna do that by creating a frame around here that only appears around the middle of this. And the way that I'm going to do this is um, I just created a, uh, a black mat and you can do that over here by clicking color mat and I'm making it the full size and making it black. And then when I bring this black mat over top, When I double click in this area here, I can move this around and position this where I want. If I try to scale this, it's going to, by default, scale it uh, uniform. So I'm going to turn that off and that allows me to position this wherever I want. Instead of me trying to figure out what the exact size of that little slice is, I just make a big uh, a track mat or a big mat and then just scale it because this is, I don't care about the scaling of it. It's not like a video frame. Scaling, it's not that important. So I'm gonna position this about in the middle here. All right. And I'm going to animate this. So I'll go to the beginning of where this track mat is and I'll hit a position keyframe, click on there and go to about the middle and then just drag the vertical down. And I could either do that in the, the window over here. I just prefer to do it over here. There we go. Oops, and it's actually going the wrong way. Boy, don't you like when you do demos incorrectly. Okay, let me do it that way. I just flip my, my um, keyframes around. There we go. So now it comes up. But you're probably thinking, well, you're hiding her. Well, that's because we haven't applied the track mat effect to the video below it. So in the effects, if you just type in track, there's track mat key, and you can put it on here. It wants to know where the mat is. So we're in V1. This is V2. So we tell it the video is in V2. And you can see it instantly works. There's our track mat. I'll hit play. It comes up, stays in position, and there she goes. By default, it's alpha, meaning whatever is transparent. Or you could do luma, which is luminosity. That's the black and white values of this. And you could also quickly invert that, so it's the opposite of that. All right, so that's the simplest kind of track mat. Let's move on a little bit. In this example, it, well, let's just look over here. I like that I reveal her, but I don't like the black on both sides because then it just looks like crappy vertical video shot on a phone. I'd love to bring her in and then bring in the, both sides. And I could do that with multiple layers of compositing. I could duplicate the exact same thing and then uh, just have a, a fade in. But I want to show you, I want to try to keep this as economical as possible, the smallest amount of, uh, of files. So here. With this guy, I'd like to highlight his face and have the rest ghosted back a little bit. And for that, I'm actually going to use a title. And I'll create a title. So new title, and I'll call this face. Again, I'll, I'll keep it uh, full size. And I'm going to enlarge this so I get to see this a little bit better. And I'm gonna grab just my regular pen tool and I'm gonna click and drag around this area here. And I'll go above this and make sure when I click on it, it clicks. By default, it's called a closed bezier. I wanna make this a filled bezier and make sure that it's white. And then I can turn on a background. And the background, I'm gonna click in here and make the background gray, click OK. And now when I drag this title up and we drop it on here, of course it hides everything. Let's add track mat to that. And while we're at it, I'm just gonna drag track mat over here too. By the way, I could have selected all of them and double clicked. So for this one, not only do we tell it video two, 
but there is no alpha. The alpha is the transparency. This is a solid, even though there's different colors, it's not transparent. So we need to choose a luma matte. And the luma matte, you can see we've got different values in here. We've got a slightly darker version behind and his face, but we have this hard line in here. How do we get rid of that? Double click, let's add a, a shadow and we'll make the shadow also white. And we'll make the distance zero so that it's right on top of it. We'll change the size. And we'll change the spread to 100% and the opacity up to 100%. So there we go. And actually, it looks like we might not have 100% white on the face. There we go. So now we have a soft value in there. And in fact, if we move this over here a little bit, you can actually see the results while I'm moving this around. We can't do it in that window, but I'm just moving that, tightening that up a little bit. It's a little bit more difficult because the shadow is extending past his face. All right, so let's look at that example now. There it goes. Well, how about if we make that fade in? How do we do that? Well, I'm gonna use the opacity keyframes over here. So I'll right click and make sure I've got opacity keyframes, holding the command key on the Mac, control on Windows, click, click, drag that down. And now he fades in and fades up. Pretty cool, all done with one title and one effect, the track Mac key. Okay, the last one, that I'm going to show you here is we're going to grab a white mat and this one I do want to have on a bunch of squares so we're going to use the the uh, in the track mat key we'll just use alpha it, it doesn't matter that it's white but if I wanted to now build this up, let's say that I wanted one there and then one there and then one there. Well, normally you'd have to grab another one of these and we'll offset that and we'll double click on that and we'll move that over here, but we can't because they're two different tracks and this is only giving us one video track. So how do we build this up with nine separate squares in there? Well, we can do that by selecting this, right clicking and choose nest it. And when we make a nested sequence, double click on that you see that's green now in this sequence we can duplicate it up here and then move it over there and now when we go back and look at this now we've got two of them so let me show you my final that I created boom 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 and if I double click on the nested sequence it's pretty simple one after another comes up and because the track mat is set to alpha whatever is in the background there is transparent all right so now you can see the final result is pop 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 each one of those um, alpha mats coming up in a track mat in one nested sequence there's our guy with that face and there's the middle one coming up so track mats can really add a lot of visual coolness and style to your videos. Um, very simple to use, one layer, one effect, and you can actually buy them pre-made by Rampant Design Tools. They have a bunch of really incredible um, uh, track mats that you just drop on, select it, and you're ready to go. All right, so hopefully you found this informative. If you did, then please click on the subscribe button to Video Reveal. If you're not already an Adobe Creative Cloud user, then get on over and get your free copy. There's actually, a 30-day trial and down in the description is a uh, link for you to go right there and get it. Until next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.